Determine the surface area uh, of the solid below. We have this ice cream cone shape and we're only interested in the surface area. Now what I see here is the surface area of a half circle plus the surface area of this uh, cone. And so let's figure out the surface area of this half uh, sphere first of all. So the, the area is equals to half surface area of a sphere plus this um, surface area of a cone. So let's figure out the surface area of a sphere. We're given the formula. The surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. Now the question is, what is our r value? The diameter, the diameter here is going to be 10 centimeters. So the radius, the radius would be half of that. The radius here would be 5 centimeters. So the r value would be 5. So when we work it out here on our calculator, we have one half times four pi r squared, which is five times five, 25. And this is equals to 157.07. So this here, this first part is approximately equals to 157.0796. Now let's work on the second part. So this is this answer plus the surface area of the cone. Now recall the surface area uh, of a cone. We're given the, the formula pi rs is the lateral surface area here. So we're, we're interested in pi r s. And we know that the radius is 5 centimeters. But what is this s value? The s value is the slant. It's not the, the height. It's not the perpendicular height here. It's the actual slant height, the slant, the slant length, which is the hypotenuse. Now, if only, if only we knew what this actual height was, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for s. So we're interested in this slant length over here, the hypotenuse. But we actually do know the, uh, the height because it's almost 30, but not quite. Remember that 30 centimeters is the entire height, including this half circle. The height of this half circle is five centimeters because the entire diameter is 10 centimeters. However, half of it is gonna be the five centimeters. So from here all the way to here, this here is gonna be 25 centimeters. From here to here, this would be five because five plus 25 is 30. So we have a nice Pythagorean triangle here. So we can solve for s. So we have s squared or c squared equals this squared plus that squared. So if I take the square root right off the bat, I have this s is equal to the square root of 5 squared plus 25 squared. This is essentially a shortcut to the Pythagorean theorem. I'm just taking the square root right away. So s here is approximately 25 point four nine five all right so we have this uh, equation here we have uh, our r value is still five and we have our s value as twenty five point four nine five ish and let's work it out here so we have this uh, s value the answer twenty five point four nine five times 5 times pi. And it's better to use the actual pi value than 
So we have this as this entire lateral area as 400.476-ish. So if I add these two numbers together, so this answer plus, let me just scroll up to find the number 157 sum up somewhere up here. Here is a number, enter. So this these answers added up should be approximately equals to, so the total area of this entire shape is approximately equals to 557.56. When we look at our actual available choices, we have answer B as our answer.